Hey guys, welcome to episode number 334. Today is Monday, so it's update Monday. And why are we standing outside when it's cold and dark and snowing? Well, it's because we've got 10 55 gallon barrels. I wanted to spend a minute just talking about these barrels. Um, obviously, if you are building some sort of uh, aquaponic system, hydroponic system, um, a large scale turtle filter, uh, fish room filter of some sort, what you want to do is make sure that the 55 gallon barrels you get um, are fish safe, are food safe, and are non-toxic in nature. Um, there's some pretty nasty stuff that can be stored in 55 gallon barrels and you want to make sure you get the good barrels and not the ones that are going to kill and poison everything you put in them or near them. So what I did here was I actually went on Craigslist and found a guy that was selling barrels for uh, 10 bucks a piece. I got them actually for 8 bucks a piece and uh, I believe he works at some sort of uh, factory. Um, on the sides of these barrels it says clam juice and uh, it's 55 gallons and this was a concentrate um, so 14 to 1 concentrate so it's it's probably a, a factory that's manufacturing clam juice and putting them in uh, cans and selling them in grocery stores and whatnot um, but essentially they get a bunch of these in every single day they mix them with water and then these are the uh, the empties uh, at the end of the day and so they're just looking to get rid of them and so I was able to snag quite a few of them. The blue ones um, are either a soy sauce or the one in the back is wine. And again, the best way to tell is just looking at the labels to make sure that uh, what's labeled on there is some sort of food product. And that's my best recommendation is to make sure that there is some sort of original label on your barrels when you pick them up contact people that work at factories, go look online, try to find what kind of manufacturing facilities are uh, near you, what kind of food processing plants are near you, <clears throat> and pick up something that you know is going to be fish safe. So it's snowing out right now, so I'm gonna cut this video short, but essentially I've picked up these 10 barrels because I'm going to use one of them to extend my turtle filter uh, I want to build a mechanical side of the filter and uh, include a swirl filter in that. So that's going to be one of those barrels. And then the other nine are going to be for uh, additional projects here as we move into the springtime. Um, I do want to do some sort of outdoor gardening, outdoor aquaponics system at some point. So I might use a few of these um, in that. And uh, so I'll just store them until I'm ready to use them. But these barrels actually still have a little bit of product in the bottom and uh, that's kind of gross but it is cold out so you know even if it spoils and stinks up the place uh, it'll be okay for a day or two. I think tomorrow it's actually going to be 50 degrees and rainy so what I'll do is I'll just grab my hose and uh, just flush these out um, and when the time comes I'll show you guys how to process these and uh, cut them open and use them for your hydroponics, aquaponics, fish, turtle filters. So anyways guys, those are the barrels. I've got 10 of them. Pretty excited. Got them for a really good price. So if you're in the market for barrels, I'd suggest looking on Craigslist. But again, make sure that any barrels that you get, you can confirm that it's fish safe and uh, food safe. So starting with a barrel that has something like a clam juice or a soy sauce or a wine or something like that uh, is going to be a, a great starting point. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.